these critics have an alternative strategy for achieving anything nearly as fiscally or politically beneficial as Mr. Boehner's plan. And I think the American people are fed up with deals that just empower politicians and put this country further and further on the road to where Greece is. The Tea Party style of rage is not one that wins over converts and makes people lean for, toward them. And it is only the political class that derives its power by creating friction. And the Tea Party hobbits could return to Middle Earth having defeated Mordor. The GOP of old has grown stale and moss covered. Actually, it's a project of American Crossroads, not of Karl Rove. Uh, American Crossroads, a group that I helped organize, is undertaking well, this effort. Like I said, I believe that the sequester is really, uh, it's painted as a showdown between Republicans and Democrats, but I really think that it's going to shift between Washington and the American people. Do you trust President Obama? Absolutely. 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 There's no issue there. This guy does not respect the Constitution. He does not abide by the Constitution. This idea that we're going to use a drone to attack an American citizen in a cafe in America is ridiculous. As government expands, liberty contracts. I think that we had some biologically stupid things that were said uh, in the last election. You don't listen to these Beltway and Manhattan chin pullers, uh, these Republican strategists who uh, we should remind people of four years ago were all on the Obama bandwagon and now pretend to give advice to Romney. We know what their best interest is. And the President of the United States and I have now had six conversations since Sunday. That shows to me a level of caring and concern and interest. Um, that I think a leader should be giving to this type of situation. Uh, you know, honestly, Pierce, you've kind of been a bully on this issue because what you do, and I've seen it repeatedly on your show, I watch your show, um, and I've seen it repeatedly, what you tend to do is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically. And this is something I want you people who are in Congress and who are in the Senate and who are in the White House to understand. You work for the people. You represent the people. Now I think of all the times you screwed world and the David Brooks's. David Brooks, whose best claim to fame um, for people who have watched him, those of us in new media over the last four years, is drooling over Obama's crease in his pants. <laughs>